We just have a little bit of precipitation out there for you this morning. Very, very light precipitation. It's coming to an end. Do you want to bring it to your attention? A couple of sprinkles are materializing in parts of northwest Connecticut. Warren Bantam, good morning to you. Right over Woodville Road. This is in Warren Rabbit Hill Road and um, Gosley Road. You are dealing with some of this and right on over into uh, Bantam. A little bit of uh, raindrop activity, but not too much. Maybe a little bit of sleep pellets, a couple of snowflakes up in Summers and Stafford. It's not amounting to much. The uh, damage is done for the morning ride though the roads are wet if not a little bit slippery up in northern Connecticut so be careful. We do have a wind advisory in effect for the entire state for the entire day. Winds are expected to gust in excess of 45 to 50 miles an hour. That's pretty incredible and the temperatures are going to be dropping. All right so wet roads to greet us. Uh, you can see the sheen on the highways there in New Haven. Good morning to you and Middletown looking like uh, we've got some wet roads there to greet you as well. All right so it's kind of a messy start. Be careful out there. Very windy during the day today and then cold really cold tonight and tomorrow. We're talking about overnight lows tonight around 18 with uh, the real field value close to zero and tomorrow the temperatures don't get out of the 20s in most of the state temperatures out there right now well above average 17 is the typical overnight low we're in the low to mid 40s pretty much achieved our highs already along the shoreline we will continue to climb into the mid 40s for inland Connecticut and then the numbers are going to start dropping back as we move through the afternoon the winds are fairly calm that's good news as you can see here we've got partly sunny skies expected but watch the dropping temperatures Yep, by later on this afternoon. Thank you, Renee. Uh, with, thank you, I appreciate that. Partly sunny skies expected all across the state, but it's going to be windy and cold. As we take a look at the regional radar, not a lot going on out there. There are a few more scattered showers back to the north and west. These are kind of falling apart. Let me widen out the shot here. I can show you. Most of the precipitation is to the north. This was a fast moving, kind of a weak system for us, but it did bring enough moisture to coat those roads up. So we're just watching this little bit of shower activity back to the north and west, but this is kind of falling apart. So not too much more ahead. Cold weather comes streaming in from the north and west. That comes in later today through tonight. And boy, let me tell you about the wind chill values. Tonight, this is 10 o'clock, 8 to 9 degrees. That's what it feels like. Tomorrow at the bus stop, when you wake up with us, it's going to be 1, minus 1, minus 3, the real feel. Minus 7 by 845, 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Single digits and then uh, tweens as we move through the day tomorrow. So tomorrow's a cold day. So futurecast tomorrow's weather today moves the rain out for today. We're going to jump ahead here to Friday evening. No precipitation during the day today, tonight or tomorrow. And then watch the clouds roll in for Saturday. Saturday afternoon, we bring in the snow. This is 3, 4, 5 o'clock. It snows until about 8, 9, 10 o'clock. And then trans transitions over to plain rain Saturday night into Sunday morning. So 2 to 4 inches of snow can be expected, two to four inches of snow can be expected before the change over to rain. Daytime highs today in the mid 40s, but the temperatures will be dropping through the afternoon. And then your seven day forecast includes some really cold weather, 28, 34 and 37. Not too bad over the upcoming weekend, but we do have that snow Saturday afternoon through Saturday night, changing over to rain, changing over to sleet and freezing rain and then plain rain Saturday night through early Sunday morning. Sunday giving way to partial clearing. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we're talking about temperatures only in the mid to upper 20s. Mid to upper 20s. That is a cold-looking forecast, folks. Get some winter woolies ready because you're going to need them.